everybody, it's me, Jill, and welcome to Jill Informed. My hair is going to be looking a little weird today. Woke up early and took a shower, and Mr. Informed is still sleeping, so I didn't want to turn on the blow dryer, and so that's my little explanation. This is my hair drying naturally. Okay, please join me for two minutes in OC. Well, Lydia is earning her Bravo paycheck and possibly her way into my heart because she's bringing the crazy and she's bringing it big. I definitely think that Lydia and Shannon are going to be the standout stars of the season for different reasons, but they are both bringing their A game. I mean, Lydia is crazy, but not like Kelly crazy. How in the name of Jesus did Lydia become friends with Kelly? Kelly, Kelly Dodd, the Antichrist. Lydia calls her a friend? Can that relationship last? I've got to think that like after five minutes, Kelly will repulse Lydia. How is Kelly a housewife? Could somebody please explain that to me? How, how did she get on this show? I cannot see how in any normal situation she would become friends with or hang out with or in any way interact with the rest of the ladies. And I'm not, listen, this is OC. I'm not saying they're, we've got some high class women here because we don't, Tamara. But even with that being said, I don't see Kelly Dodd fitting in. She's just on another level. Kelly comes walking out of a public restroom and she's still zipping up her pants and tucking her shirt in and her, her hair is all, what, what happened to you in there? Were you assaulted? I, <laughs> but that's Kelly. And then her drunken, foul mouth, I mean, she's mildly entertaining at best. And poor Shannon, she's really having a tough go. I don't know what this strategy is of telling everybody you meet for the first time how much you weigh. I'm not sure she's just kind of trying to take the power away by being the first one to mention how much weight she's gained, but, oh, sweetie, you don't have to tell everybody first thing, especially people you've just met. And then, as we know, she runs into Kelly unexpectedly in the bathroom and in her shock and surprise, talks about her weight problem and how much she weighs. She tells Kelly. And then later when they're screaming and shouting at each other at the table, she's like, I can fight it in you with how much my struggle is and what I weigh. And I'm thinking, you know, that wasn't a big confiding in, was it, Shannon? Because you probably also told the waiter and the bartender and the lady at the grocery store. Oh, in her trainer? Wow. Way to motivate, buddy. See, he's taking like these before pictures of her and he goes, okay, take your shirt off. Wow. Okay, all right, turn to the side. Whoa. Wow, it, you're be, you can't hold that in. You can't hold your shock in. You're her trainer. And then he says to her, well, I mean, don't beat yourself up, but you should be disappointed. Thanks. Like, uh, you know, imagine if it was your child. What? What are you saying? Are you saying that if your child gained weight, you should be disappointed in them? Wow, but you're a hell of a dad. The other notable housewife this episode has to be Peggy. Peggy, who is either dead inside or just struggling with the English language, but it's kind of amusing. <laughs> she has no expression whatsoever. This is Peggy. Well, first scene we see of her today is her pulling up in her Cruella de Vil Ferrari, half black, half white, like she's ready to mow down some Dalmatians. And Lydia hops in the car and she's like, 
do you like to go fast? And then they take off, which I'm sure is over the speed limit. Bravo, maybe check into that. Then when Shannon meets her, oh, we've all seen some awkward first meetings of the housewives, but this has got to be one of the best. Shannon meeting Peggy. They somehow start talking about Shannon, where Shannon lives or, or something like that. And Shannon's like, well, it's just a temporary house. I mean, last time our house took six years to be built. Peggy, six years. Why? To build an extra room? And she's like, I don't have time for that. And Shannon says, no, I mean, I made the whole house green and we had air purifiers in the whole house. And here's Peggy, just use a humidifier. Shannon's face was like, uh, and to the confession cam, Shannon's like, um, everybody knows a humidifier doesn't purify the air. Anyway, as you all know, things escalated in the restaurant between Shannon and Kelly and the read between the lines. Uh, yeah, good one, Shannon. But that's about it. That's my two minutes in OC. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>